I'm sure you had real estate investors that they picked options of stocks. So can you tell us about what has been like the best case scenario? And let's also know about uh, what has been the worst case scenario. The best case scenario is that you start to expedite the scaling of a real estate portfolio and you start to make one to 4% a month and spend no more than 30 minutes a day. The worst case scenario is that you end up you know, buying a stock and holding on to it. That is really the worst case scenario. And the reason that's, that is indeed the worst case scenario is because when you went out to sell a put on a given stock or sell an option, we tell people to only do that for companies that they've done their homework on. It's going back to the distressed property example. If you've done your homework, you should be happy getting assigned that stock, right? So that's really the worst case scenario. And I think there is indeed a learning curve, Anthony, in the beginning especially, you have to put in the effort, you have to put in the, in the time. But once you've put in the effort, once you put in the time, it will change your life financially. It will change the way you look at money, it will change the way you look at return on your investment because you stop just looking at ROI, return on investment, but you'll also start looking at ROT, return on time.